first. All right, guys. We're playing some Trinomir top lane into a Gragas. And I'm going to teach you guys exactly on how you guys can play Trin right now. So what you want to run is Little Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Bone Plate. And then you also want to take on Flange. We also have a long sword with Igniting Ghost. And this matchup is also quite decent. Let me show you why. So in general, like Gragas top lane is one of the best counter picks to many top laners. Definitely Gragas has a advantage over many champions in, in top. Um, luckily for Trin though, this guy technically counters us really hard, but Trinomi has a lot of win conditions. Ooh. Like the difference is that Gragas can constantly like um, stop my dash from happening. Too bad for you, buddy. I win the lottery today. I got, like, so many crits off. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, technically, Gragas counters Trinomir because every time I dash in, he could basically cancel out my E, and then he can also drop down a Q as well. But, here comes the catch. We outscale him. Really, that's it. We outscale Gragas. We have uh, healing on the Q, which allows him to stay in lane basically forever. Um, mid late game, we can pressure much harder. So at the end of the day, we are struggling just for a bit, right? But soon enough, he will 1v9. You'll see for yourself. And even when, uh, even when Gragas technically counters us, we still... If we outplay him hard, we can still crit him to death. I'm going to be avoiding him for a little bit because the wave is too massive. If I all in this guy now, I'm going to take too much damage. Good one. We uh, He didn't hit the E. He felt this E pretty hard there. I'm not going to train there, obviously. I was thinking about it, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. Hmm, Mastery is fighting. Hmm. I would have wanted to help him, but... I'm actually kind of surprised that Mastery is still alive after this. Got him. I couldn't like help Mastery sooner because if I left my lane there right there, I would lose all the wave and then also a potentially a chance that Gregus might get away. So that would make my lane twice as bad if I didn't kill him. That's why I'd rather just wait th down there and just get the wave instead and then try and help afterwards. Nice. And now we are going to get back. So we're specifically going to be building Berserker's Grief. So we have more attack speed. Yep. And we also get a Contra Ward. I think that this game, I'm probably going to be building either Gale Force or Kraken Slayer. I'm personally thinking about Gale Force more than Kraken Slayer. Um, because they, um, they have Jin and Graves in mid. But we can also build Kraken Slayer too. That's also fine. Let's place a ward down. There's a country ward in that brush right there. I don't know. I might I might still change. I might still go Gale Force. They're both really good actually. They'll both function well. Um, obviously Gale Force is a bit weaker into Gragas. Um, but it gives me more outplay potential. Where Kraken Slayer is just more damage, but can easily be outplayed. Okay. Definitely make sure to stay away if he uh, is going to W. Still hit it. Nice. Still have like two potions too.
Hmm. I wonder if I can beat him here. Oh, I'm getting ganked. Okay. I think we can probably get something here because we have Master Yi. But I think they probably saw him. Yeah, they must have probably seen Master Yi. Um, he's about to get his level 6. So I'm still forced to back off. Alright, let's go New Cooper. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do this game is probably go with Kraken Slayer because um, as good as Gale Force sounds, I want to have damage against Gragas to actually kill him. I think if we combine Kraken Slayer with um, Nevery Quick Blades at the second item, I think if I combine these two items, I can probably just all in Gragas and not have to worry. So we'll see. Good trade. Still have the wave shoving into me. I want to all in him right there, but I don't want to mess up the wave. I'm just going to let this wave like shove under so that Gragas will lose everything. I think that's better than trying to kill him because there's a chance I could shove the wave in by accident and he can stay in lane. I don't want that to happen. I am your worst nightmare. Hold the wave. Nice. Yeah, as you can see, Greg is a counter matchup to many top laners, but Trinimir is a champion that's like all round, just a really good champ. Hard matchups are often very easy when you play Trin, because uh, even if you play as a counter matchup, you can still farm out since you have like a ton of healing. Nice. Perfect freeze. I'm going to set things up a little bit because it seems like Drax is getting ready. Okay. Now we start healing. This is probably going to be the hardest part of the game. Uh, surviving the, the poke from Gragas. Yep. That's why Gragas is a counter matchup. I guess that perfectly shows. Hmm. Alright. And that's Gragas for you. This is what I mean with Gragas matchup. This is the problem. get this one real fast. And we are back at full health again. Awesome. Gotta make sure I stay outside of Gragas range. Again, we force lanes. Then he's doing, going to do that again. Yup. This this matchup is anti-fun. I think it's one of the least enjoyable matchups to play out. Because of how no-brained Gragas of a champ is. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. I was like, what? <laughs> he could never do anything there.
Grip plates. Appreciate it. Oh, he should have spawned it. Okay, time to get back. So now we can actually purchase my next two components. I can't get the item yet, but I can't overstay either. I'm gonna start building towards the next item ready, just so I can fill out the gold. I don't want to have too much gold waiting because that's damage that I'm losing. Uh, quick question, do you ever max E? No. I always max Q first. In every case, every matchup, it's the best choice. Like, the main reason why Trinomir is so broken is just because of the Q. The Q is what really makes Trinomir Trinomir, you know? <laughs> I'm getting ganked. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, I appreciate that, man. He kicked me into his jungler. I killed him. And now I got him here. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see you later. See you later, buddy. <laughs> he just kicked me into his jungler. Oh man, that must feel pretty bad for him. No, I'm going Kraken Slayer. Nearly messed up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful when people play Gragas and they kick their target into someone else. Feels good, man. Alright, let's shuffle out the wave. I'm gonna see if I can get the whole tower. Most likely can't actually get it because he should be here now. It's an AP Graga so far. He's going last chapter, so he's got a lot of damage. That means I gotta have to stay away from him a little. Yeah, just Gragas things. Just Gragas things. I think I'm going to get myself uh, the blue buff. As weird as it sounds, I'm going to get it. My team doesn't really use the blue buff this game. And we are back. So far looking good. We have a big advantage over him. Heal up again. Easy time, right? We play against a counter matchup, and here we are. We're healing like 500 HP every time we hit Q. Yep. Gragas doing Gragas things again. We back out. And then we're going to continue taking jungle camps again. And then we get back before the wave is going to die out. So we keep on making advantages, guys. That's very important. It's very important to keep on farming. And... I um, will probably get the next wave as well. I am your worst 
Okay. Well, too bad. My tactic is not working. It's still a counter matchup that won't change. Hmm. Yeah, this just won't change. It's a counter matchup. You gotta try hard in this matchup. If, you... But trust me, the moment we walk out of lane, it's gonna pay off. As you can see, we have about uh, 150. This guy's about 115. So the tactic is working. Hmm. I want to get the next wave. Can we auto again? This time I gotta be a little careful, because the next combo is gonna get me down like 20% 20, 20, uh, HP. So I might have to respect him here. Don't have DXP. Nice, and we get back. Uh, quick question. Not maxing Arl Trin? No. You should never, never, never max Arl Trin to mirror. Um, putting points into the ultimate for Trin technically doesn't give you anything. It gives you no advantages, except maybe a couple things. A few changes, but they're not very useful. So not really. You don't max it. You can max it if you want for the few benefits, but... Uh, maxing W or E is just better. Gives you way more. Such a boring counter matchup. Like, it's unplayable in terms of, like, fighting. But yeah, I'm glad, like, this laning phase is over soon. Nice. About time. Mm, he's spawning it, sure. Nice. I wonder if we can beat this guy here. I've got my secondary item now. Well, almost. Need a bit more. Can't fight that one. Guess they're gonna have to die out because I can't help them here. Uh, I'm gonna get specifically three of those. I mean, two of those because. I, like I said earlier, I don't want to have spare uh, gold in the inventory. I want to make sure I use all of it so I can get the biggest power spike. So I go like two crits. No, at least I can make sure I crit everything. So all we need right now is this one, 700 gold. Perfect, let's get this camp here. They got Baron, but I don't care, honestly. And we're going to be pathing back in top, except I'm going to take every jungle camp with me I can find so I can, you know, make my power spike better. I'm going to get him. And here we go. Thank you very much. I'm making sure I use my ultimate just in case. Now we're going to take the upcoming one and then we head back so we can get my Nevery Quick Blades. Oh, thank you. 
Let's get this camp here. And now we go back. Yeah, let's try. Appreciate it, buddy. I don't need my ultimate. It's not required. Let's get back. Or before we do, it's going to take one more wave because my whole team just wrecked them all. Yep, now we can back off. Now let's try. <laughs> I'm glad I sidestepped up. Got my pickaxe. And let's take a look. So far we have about uh, 80 CS difference on Gragas, including, well, we're pressuring all the time. Actually, I, like I said earlier, in, at, at the start of this game, I knew this was going to happen. Like, Tredomir just destroys mid late game where Gragas falls off. This guy can only counter in the, in the matchup and that's it. We have, like, way more pressure on Shrin. They get dragon. To be honest, I don't really care. They can farm it if they like. This is more important. Let's get through it. Um, they're backing, so... I'm just taking the wave and that's it. See you later, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> Did they have a frozen heart by chance? No. Just tanky. Okay, I underestimate how tanky they were. I think instead of going top now, we're going to go bottom so we can take towers there instead. Uh, Baron will spawn in two minutes, so we're definitely going ball lane. We'll make sure we pressure this. Uh, quick question, how's the island of top lane treating you? Oh man, it's, it's great, man. I uh, still wish to this day that top lane wasn't an island, to be honest. I kind of miss the days where TP was like low cooldown and you could TP to any object you could find. I miss these days. Now you have to actually wait until a certain point and the cooldown is just so high. I miss these days, man. Come on, E, any crits? <laughs> Uh, definitely one we can't fight. Looks winnable. Yeah, very winnable team fight right there. Clean. Hey, there's a wave approaching here. Wait a second. I need one more wave and then I'm satisfied. All right, now I'm satisfied. They're coming top. Never mind. This is their graves, which is on blue. Uh, 
Got my Infinity Hatch. Um, next item, we're, we need some healing reduction specifically, so we're going to be going for Mortuary Reminder. Uh, quick question, have you tested the new Udyr in top lane? Oh man, I've made so many videos about the new Udyr, man. You've been missing out. Since day one, since the rework, I've been released. I think I've released like seven videos for Udyr in like two months. They didn't go for him. No graves here. Um, we can take pressure and then rotate to Drake in like 40. fight in mid, but we stay here. Uh, they're going for Drake. I need my teammates to be ready. I hope they do. Akali is dead, but we can 4 against 5. No, my teammates are dying beforehand. Okay. Um, seems like we have an issue because they got four dragons. I was totally ready for that dragon, by the way. That was going to be a perfectly winnable team fight. I had it fully prepared, but my teammates died before it started. Feels bad, man. go for a baron. Kidding. They get literally everything out of this. Hmm. Yeah, right. Oh man, that's so... Disappointing. So disappointing. My teammates die once. They get Fort Dragon and they get Baron included. Because of one time getting caught. Feels bad, man. I want to go Lord Dominic's. Uh, quick question, is there any difference between Tryndamere and Garen uh, spin? Of course. <laughs> They're like completely different in, in, in how they work, man. In terms of the ability, Tryndamere E is just instant, where Garen needs to actually stay on you. But I mean, Tryndamere's E is far better than Garen's, uh, Garen's spin. Sure. Oh, my teammates were all caught again. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I think that this game is probably going to be lost right now. My teammates have died twice in a row. In the worst timing possible. I don't think I can change it, because they're definitely like 30. Hey, up. I'm the winnable. Feels bad, man. You know, you got games like this, which you just can't win. This is one of those games. We played it in perfection throughout the whole game. It's just unwinnable. I couldn't even press R. I just died so fast.
Wait. Nope. There's just some games you just can't win sometimes. But uh, hey, either way, this is Trent Top. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.